fifth, and we're only three games out of first place. And I'll tell you what, you wouldn't know it by looking at all the empty seats. Our Jennifer Jordan joins us live from Progressive Field with more attendance issues with the tribe. Jennifer. Well, Tracy, the sights, the smell of hot dogs and popcorn, and the camaraderie. There are many reasons why people come out to support their team at the ballpark. And, but even with the Tribe on a winning streak, for some reason, fans are simply staying away. The Tribe having a hard time filling these seats. And the big mystery remains, why? The food prices, the drink prices have gotten lower. Um... Usually tickets are cheaper. But even with deeper discounts at concession stands and at the box office, the Indians' attendance record is still among the worst in Major League Baseball. I think it's a residual of last, last year, the August was horrible. I think just the lack of ownership spending, uh, I think that's a big deal. Um, you know, this year they finally started to do that, and I think you see fruits of that. Even with stars like Swisher, Masterson, and Kipnis on the field, the Indians just can't seem to fill stadium seats. The Tribe has won 10 out of their last 11 games and has now surged into the American League Central race, leading the division with 15 shutouts. Still, Cleveland has the fourth worst attendance record, according to ESPN, averaging just over 19,383 people this year. Last year, the Indians had the second worst record in the AL with just under 20,000 fans. So what is it going to take to get fans to come out? If they keep winning and if they, you know, they're in playoff contention, then it's definitely going to rise to get sales a lot more. Nothing beats live sports. The uh, atmosphere, the people around you, the excitement, the smells, the sounds. It's all, it, it's completely different from watching it at home in your own couch. Game one of a crucial four-game series against first place Detroit is expected to draw large crowds, but will Progressive be sold out? Remains to be seen. It's getting late in the season, and Detroit is a, a rival, so we have to step up and show the rest of the country that we mean business across the board, fans and players. Here it is, it's August, we're still competitive, so... Yeah, maybe even next year it'll get better. Maybe we'll see the attendance pick up next year. Now a Tribe spokesman telling me that single game ticket sales are slightly up since 2012. They are hoping this trend continues. 43,000 plus seats here at Progressive Field, Tracy and Lou, and let's hope we get the fans to come out and dispel them all yeah. at the end of the season. Gotta support the team. All right, Jennifer, yes, we